French firm Simero will invest $100 million in India for establishing simulators to train around 5,000 pilots over the next five years. Mazagin Docks Limited has successfully completed the sea trials of a fully autonomous pilotage system on board a tugboat. Lokesh Machines has delivered limited numbers of Ashmi SMGs to the National Security Guard. After facing criticism, Flying Wedge Defense has announced the imminent commencement of developmental trials for the FWD 200B bomber UAV. Big Bang Boom Solutions conducted a successful demonstration of their man portable Vajra Sentinel anti drone system for senior officials of the Royal Air Force of Oman. After Tejas setback, Hindustan Aeronautics has set its sights on a potential Prachand helicopter deal with Argentina. According to a panel report, 60% of the delays plaguing the RDO projects can be attributed to internal inefficiencies within the organization, and that 18% of delays stem from changes in user requirements by the armed forces. The second sea trial of China's third aircraft carrier Fujian has revealed that the number of aircraft aboard the Fujian surpassed that of the American Ford class. During the red flag exercise in Alaska, Indian Rafales will conduct a simulated air combat simulation exercise against the American F-35 stealth fighter, acting as a stand-in for the Chinese J-20. This simulated matchup provides a valuable training opportunity for Indian pilots, allowing them to gain insights into the capabilities of the J-20 that has been deployed near Sikkim. The outcome of this exercise is likely being closely monitored by both India and China, as the learnings gleaned from this simulation could prove crucial in the event of a real-world confrontation. In recent months, the Russian S-400 has struggled to effectively counter strikes from Western missiles like Storm Shadow cruise missiles and attacks, after which effectiveness of the Indian S-400 against newer and more sophisticated missiles has been questioned, as India's potential adversaries are also modernizing their arsenals. A video also emerged showing the Russian S-400 system failing to shoot down the incoming 300 km attacks, and interestingly, Pakistan recently tested its 400 km Fati 2 rocket and called it S-400 killer. After signing a deal for supply of a completely assembled advanced turbo gas generator engine to the gas turbine research establishment, Hyderabad-based Azad Engineering is poised to become a key player in the global supply chain for the American F-404 and F-414 engines manufactured by General Electric, that powers the Tejas Mark 1A and Mark 2 aircraft, and also power various fighter jets developed by other European nations, that positions India strategically for a stronger and more self-reliant in the engine division. During a tank firing exercise of Bangladesh Army, an unspecified malfunction occurred in the Chinese built Type 59G tank, that resulted in the loss of one crew member and injuries to at least two others. Bangladesh appears to be pointing fingers at China, but interestingly, China seems to be deflecting blame towards Pakistan, who is the supplier of the ammunition used during the exercise. Today's top three comments. Thank <laughs> you.